Um, so I kept my baby beetle juice on the eighth of October, twenty twenty one. He like gave me my life again, made me feel happy to be alive, and now angry. Usually, when I get angry, I lash out at myself, and you know, once I do things, I just do it. I'm in the motion, so it's just the this is what it is. And, but double R. And I also was like, don't do that. Take it down. Like, don't put it up. Like, I mean. And then I just kept hearing knocking. Like, somebody was knocking at my door. But I kept getting up and nobody was there. And it's like. Like. Was that Ms. Davis trying to exert her power? I guess the others locked her away, so she had to not. But I wasn't opening up my mind mentally. I was, I was physically opening my eyes, the door. Like, and now... No, I was sad. No, angry at myself for ever thinking I could be a mom with my own body. <laughs> Doesn't even want, can't even have a baby, so, you know. You just ain't get what you deserve. Maybe I'm not on enough medication. Maybe I need to take some more medication. Maybe I'm just... too broken. <sighs> but it's not true, because... Beetlejuice is here. Everywhere. All around. His strength is, I feel like the only thing that keeps me moving forward is to know how strong he was, even for his last hours, moments. <sighs> and as a parent, you know that if not you, then who, you know? I've never blamed him. So it's me. But. I'm going to do what I promise. I'm going to be so informed on every possible illness that these new animals and kids that I still have. Make sure that I don't drop the ball with them. So oh, I just feel so unworthy to be alive. My mother couldn't even keep up, baby. Oh, man. Let's see.